Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be learning about LCM and HCF. Let's first look at LCM, which is the least common multiple. So by the very name itself, you'll understand one thing that it is a multiple. So let me just write down if I'm trying to find out, let's say LCM of A and B. Let us say it is L. So L is a multiple of both A and B because it is a common multiple. Also, it is the least common multiple. So by just looking at this, we look at some, some basic example. So let us say I'm trying to find out the LCM of 4 and 6. Let me just list down the multiples because we are talking about multiples here. So let me list down multiples of 4. So that is going to be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32 and so on. Similarly, if I list down the multiples of 6, that is going to be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36 and so on. Now in this case, you will see that if I try to find out the common multiples, if you see here, 12 is a common multiple, right? 12 is a multiple of 4 as well as 6. So 12 is a common multiple. Now let's move ahead. Now I have a 24 here and I also have a 24 here. So 24 is also a common multiple. And if out of after 32, I will have here 36, right? So another common multiple as you can see here is 36. So I can see that 12, 24, 36 are, are all and so on and so forth. There are infinite such numbers which are common multiples of 4 and 6, which means all these numbers are multiples of 4 as well as multiples of 6. But LCM means it's the least common multiple. So which is the least number of these? It is 12. So 12 is my least common multiple. So basically this is what we mean by the term LCM. Now let's first find out before using it in problems. Let's try, try to find out how we can find out LCM. Okay, before going into these methods, let me tell you that LCM and HCF is a very important topic. You might feel that it's very trivial, but actually it's very important because in a lot of exam questions, directly or indirectly, you will be using LCMs and HCFs. So even if you think that you know it and it's very simple, I would still advise and request you to just quickly go through this video. So what are the ways of finding out LCM? There are three ways, common ways. Now let me take an example to make this clear. Let us say I am trying to find out the LCM of 24 and 36. Now let me first look at the prime factors method. So in this, first let me the, list down the prime factors of 24. So I can write down 24 as 2 into 2. I am only listing down the prime numbers. So it is basically 2. I will list down all the factors. So 2 into 2, that is 4 into 6, that is this, this is how I can write 24. Similarly, let me list down prime factors of 36. This is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Now to find out the LCM using the prime factors, what you are supposed to do is that for each factor, look at, for instance, in this we only have 2's and 3's. So see how many 2's there are here and how many 2's there are here and take the one which has higher number of 2's. So what I mean by this is, here I have three twos, here I have two twos. So let me take the larger number of twos which is three. So I'll write, it, write this down as two into two into two. Then I move ahead, let me, let me look at threes. I have one three here and I have two threes here. So I take the set which has higher number of threes. I put this as into three into three. This is what is going to give me the LCM of 24 and 36. And if I multiply this, this is 8 into 9, which is equal to 72. So this is how we find out. Obviously, this is not a very elegant method, but this is used in questions many times. One thing I need you to see is 72 is more than both 24 and 36. So LCM will obviously always be bigger than both your numbers. Now, if I want to reconfirm this, I can just simply see that 72 is 24 into 3 and it is also 36 into so hence 72 makes sense it's a multiple of both these numbers and it is the least common multiple now let me look at the division method it's a very nice method so in this what I do is I put 24 here and I put 36 here I do this and now 
I think of the smallest prime factor which can divide both these numbers. Obviously, without going much further, I know that two is such a number. Two is prime. I'm starting from the smaller numbers, and it divides both 24 and 36. So when I divide 24 by 2, I get a 12 here. Remainder is zero. 36 divided by 2 is 18. This is what I get. Then I do this and I again take a prime number, the smallest one which I can think of, which divides both these numbers. That again is 2. So 12 divided by 2 again is 6. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So now if I see these two numbers, now I cannot, 2 is not divisible. These Both these numbers are not divisible by 2. 6 is still divisible by 2 but 9 is not. So I cannot put a 2 here. Instead what I can see is that 3 divides both these numbers. So I put a 3 here. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now I cannot find another number, another prime number which divides both these numbers. So this is where I stop. I stop when I cannot find another number which divides both the numbers here. Now the LCM in this case is simply this multiplied by this multiplied by this multiplied by this and multiplied by this. That is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 which is equal to 72. Now let me make a clarification in this method. Let me take another example. Let me say that I was finding out the LCM of 25 and 30. Okay. Now in this case what I will do is again I look at common uh, a number which can divide both these the smallest prime number without much difficulty I can find 5 is a number so 25 divided by 5 is 5 30 divided by 5 is 6 now when I reach this stage I see that I cannot find another prime number which divides both 5 and 6 but even though 6 is not a prime number so I have a composite number sitting here even then the method works just fine you stop at this stage because I cannot find another prime number or any number which divides both these numbers. So the LCM will simply be 5 multiplied by 6 into 5. So this is going to be my LCM for this and which is equal to 150. So this method works in this case also. So this was just a clarification. Now after going through this, we'll, there's another which says find we can find the LCM from if the HCF is given now we haven't yet learned how to find out the HCF but even then I will give you the basic formula LCM is of let us say A and B is simply equal to A multiplied by B divided by HCF of A and B so this is a formula by which many times you will be able to find out the the LCM. So even though if you, if you don't know what HCF is or how to find it out, you will be finding out later in this video. Now let us see how we find out LCM of three numbers. So the fact the listing down the prime factors will work exactly like that. So let me take an example. Let me say I want to find out the LCM of 5, 15 and 12. In case of listing down the factors, again factors of 5, let me just put it this way is 5. Factors of 15 is 3 into 5. Factors of 12 are 2 into 2 into 3. Now again I look at the group. So 2's. In case of 2's, I have two 2's here. No 2's in these two. So I just put down 2 into 2 here. Similarly for 3, I have a 3 here. I have a 3 here. No 3's here. So I will put down 1 3. In, in this number also I have a group of 3 of 1. And here also I just have 1 3. Now look, let me look at 5. I have 1 5 here and 1 5 here. No 5's here. So it is simply into 5 which is, so now if I solve this, it is equal to 60. Now the other method that we used, now there is a slight variation in case of 3 numbers. So let me just list it down here. Now as you can see I cannot find any number which divides all of these 3 numbers. Okay, so in case of when I have three digit three numbers, what I do is I find out any smallest prime number which divides at least two. So let me look at five and fifteen here. The number which divides both of these is five. So what I do is I divide five by five, put down one here, 
15 divided by 5 is 3 and I bring down this number exactly because it is not divisible by 5. So this is what I get. Now similarly I go ahead again in these three numbers I try to find out any two numbers which have a common prime factor. Now in this case as you can see 3 and 12 have a common factor of 3. So now put down 3 here and 1 obviously I just bring down here. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now if you can see I cannot find any other number which divides any two of these numbers. So my LCM will again be this into this into this into this into this. That is 5 into 3 into 4 which is equal to 60. So in case of three numbers there is only a slight modification. You take in any two numbers which are divisible by any number and you continue with the method as has been explained to you before.